the 1920s, the prohibition years, violent gangs were gaining more and more power by the trade of illegal alcohol. It was a tough time for the average Joe, but not for me. My name is Vinny Canoli, and I make an honest living as an enforcer for the mob. But it ain't all fun and games, of course. One time I got a call from a mob boss called Mr. Belluccio. He needed me to come to Thugtown and find some guy named Frank. Thugtown. There was something wrong with this city. Strange reports had been coming in about bizarre incidents and gruesome murder cases. Violent rioters had overrun entire areas inside the city, and it seemed the officials had lost all control. It's been days now since the last contact. But nevertheless, I had a job to do. So here I was, about to step in a freaking nightmare. What's going on up there? Here goes the hot lead! Out goes the guts! Lunatics! Hey, you still look pretty good. Here's the next win for you.
Warum?
arm and a leg and a head. That's some good cannoli. The next one for you. I wish just once I would see a friendly face around here. Could you just help me out here a second and get rid of these guys for me? My butt's starting to hurt! Hey pal! Up here! Could you just help me out here a second and get rid of these guys for me? My butt's starting to hurt! Sorry, it ain't personal! I just... Thanks for saving my ass from being turned into supper. Don't mention. But who are you and what the hell is going on here? I haven't even set one foot ashore and they try to bite it off. I hear you, pal. I've been stuck up here for days now. My name's Rusty. All I know is people all over town started turning into friggin' zombies after St. Patty's a couple of days ago. Before we knew it, the whole town was overrun. The only thing holding out is the gangsters, you know, armed to the teeth and all. Yeah, you picked a hell of a time to pay us a visit, I can tell you that. Yeah, well, I ain't here for the architecture. My name's Vinny Cannoli, and I'm looking for a guy called Frankie the Fly. Perhaps you've heard of him. Oh, yeah. Frank. Always in trouble, that kid. What are you looking for him for? I gotta find him and take him straight to the big boss of the Beluccios. The Beluccios? <laughs> You're on the wrong side of town, pal. Their turf is on the north side of the river that cuts Thugville in half. You want my advice? Get the hell out while you still have a pair of legs to do so. Can't do that. They pay me a lot of dough to get him there without so much as a scratch. So I guess he's got to be pretty important to them. And that makes him important to me. So can you get me to him or not? I think I know where he is. But it's too dangerous out here to talk now. Meet me at the pawn shop at the end of the harbor. It ain't far from here. We'll talk there. Yeah, that's 
I would see a friendly face around here. Hmm, that's some good cannoli. that way. Nice place you got here. Yours? It's as rusty's on the front, don't it? Yeah, I ain't leaving this place again as long as there's zombies out there. You're welcome to stay if you want. A guy like you can come in handy. Thanks, but I already got a day job. Now let's cut to the chase. Where's Frankie? Well, my best guess would be he's being held by the Bonino gang. After the zombie outbreak, they started looking for it. The Bonino gang? Who are they? The Boninos rule this side of the city, everything south of the river. They don't get along so well with the Beluccios. They've been hitting the mattresses as long as I can remember. And I'll go there and have a friendly chat with them. Where are they hiding? Hiding? They got a joint right in the center of town. Real classy place. <laughs> nice girls, too. But to get there, you gotta go through the back alley. I wouldn't risk that on a broke dick dog. It's crawling with zombies out there. And the Boninos got goons all over town. So what am I? A nobody? I can take a couple of stiffs walking around, and I eat goons for breakfast, capiche? Whatever you say, pal. Good luck out there. Ooh, that made a hole. If you didn't want to die, you shouldn't have walked in front of my gun!
Shop one day. face around here. to guts. for the freaking zombies! I don't have to. 
clean this mess up! Zombies in the morning.
Who the hell are you? I'm the Undertaker, and your boxes are ready. What are you talking about? You got five seconds to tell me where you're holding Frankie before I feed you to your own customers. Who does this guy think he is? Louie. Cheech. Break his legs for me, will you? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> talking crazy, and suddenly every crumb in the city goes bananas. And now this whack job out there looking for you. What's that all about, huh? Sonny, please! I don't know nothing, I swear I-, I... Don't make me hurt you, Frankie. I swear to God. Ah! Hit the bricks, punk! I'll take it from here! You got some balls, you, walking in here like that. I'm gonna teach you some respect, and I'm gonna have fun doing it.
He had more brains than I thought! Uh, thank God, mister. He was gonna whack me. Don't mention it. Now let's get out of here before they realize what hit them. Oh, okay. Wait for me! Who are you? The name's Vinny. You can thank your boss, Mr. Beluccio. He's the one paying me to save your ass. But first, I want to know why are you so friggin' important that he's making me go through hoops to get you to his place alive? That's pretty obvious. You see, there's only one way to get out of this doomed city, and that's through the air. What are you talking about, through the air? With that thing over there. What the hell? That's right, Mr. Vinny. With Mr. Beluccio's blimp. And guess who's the only one who can fly it? You're a pilot? That's right. Did my part in the Great War when the old continent was slugging it out. Spare me the Patriot crap. Let's go to the Beluccio's already so I can get paid and we can all leave this hellhole. Ah, but we can't. The Army's built a stronghold around the bridge. They're shooting at everyone who tries to breach the perimeter, zombie or not. They even got the bridge rigged with dynamite. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. We gotta cross that bridge, and if they're not part of the solution, then they're part of the problem. We got guns, too. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hi, you freaking bastards!
that some good cannoli? I got my own plans with that Baluccio blimp. Your services are no longer required. Although I am gonna miss your zippy personality. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll give your best regards to Mr. Baluccio when I collect your fee. <laughs> you bastard! I'll get you for this! Ciao, Mr. Vinny! Come <laughs> on. 
Safety was on. Meet interesting people! Yeah. Mm. That's some 
Some good cannoli! Take it like a man.
zombies in the morning. One more step and I'll pump your guts full of lead. How many times do I have to tell you, gangsters? I can't make any more poison. I already gave you everything I had. What are you talking about? What the hell is this place? You don't know? You're not one of Frankie's guys? No, we're not particularly good friends. Spill it, pal. What's going on down here? Frankie locked me up here after he took all the poison. What poison? Makes sense, man! <sighs> this is a U.S. federal government facility. Prohibition is turning out to be one big failure with all you bootleggers and shiners brewing your own stuff. The Bureau of Prohibition ordered me to experiment this the poisoning of the ingredients to make alcohol to put a stop to the illicit drinking. I thought my product was fabulous. The perpetrators were becoming very recognizable. But the government officials thought the effects were a bit extravagant. So they shut my whole operation down, taking all my finances, putting me out of business. Would I should destroy every drop of my poison? I think not. I don't get it. If the government shut the whole thing down, then who's responsible for this mess? Frankie did it. After the federal agents left, he approached me and told me he was interested in my work. He would pay me a fortune if I could produce him gallons of my poison. But why, for God's sake? I don't know. He was speaking of a perfect diversion. I don't know what he meant. But he specially waited until St. Patrick's Day to put his poison in the alcohol. Of course. Using a drunkard's holiday to make sure everyone would be drinking his crap, turning the whole town into some kind of cannibal holocaust. I did not know his plans were to poison the whole city. Yeah, big freaking surprise. Please take me with you back to the surface. We have to fix this. Oh, your problem's getting fixed, all right. The army is preparing everything to blow this whole place to kingdom come to cover this whole thing up. And as for you, I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> so long, you quack. This time!
Mr. Paluccio. Frankie, you made it. Barely. This Vinny guy you sent for me is a freaking nut. He just wiped out the entire Bonino gang, and now he's coming for us. You gotta stop him. What? Please, hurry. There's no time. You gotta send as many men as possible to stop him. Just send everyone. He's gonna kill us all. Tony, there's a guy heading our way. Make sure he doesn't reach the tower. So long, Mr. Boluccio. Thanks for the ride. And, of course, the money. <laughs> Break his legs! I'm gonna bust your chop.
sometime. <laughs>
grenades. Surprised? Where's Beluccio? 
Oh, uh, he won't be joining the flight. It's just gonna be me. And his millions. <laughs> so you whacked the boss and turned the whole city into a pile of flesh-eating maniacs just to get your hands on Voluzio's fortune? And to get even with him and the Boninos for both hustling my butt for all those years, taking every dime I earned and treating me like a nobody. I'm a freaking war hero for Pete's sake. How about some damn respect? You'll never get away with this, you friggin' nut. Sure I will. Look around you. The city is in ruins. Nobody will ever figure out what really happened here. <laughs> I created the perfect diversion. The only problem was I didn't count on the gangsters only drinking the imported booze and not the local brew, so they didn't get infected. Lucky for me, you came along and took care of them for me. <laughs> Mr. Boluccio signed his own death warrant by sending you to help me. <laughs> oh, but enough chatting. Say your prayers, Mr. Vinny, because I ain't leaving no witnesses. Bring it on, you lunatic! Please, 
you can't kill me. I'm the only one who can fly this thing. You need me. I'll read the freaking manual. Now, let's see if you can fly without the blimp. No! No! Ah! And there ended my little trip to Thugtown. The entire town was dead. The Boninos whacked, the Baluccios rubbed out, that rat bastard Frankie squashed like a bug. It was just me and a blimp filled with a couple of million bucks and no witnesses. Things could have been a lot worse. I guess Frankie's plan was not so bad after all. <laughs> So long, suckers! <laughs> <laughs>